Uh, Mr. Gupta, so first up, if you could tell us, you know, what exactly does this mean uh, with regards to your business with JP Infra, your plans, uh, 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 you know, for resolution out there, and how much money had you invested in that anyway? No, we have not invested any money till now. Okay. Uh, based upon uh, yesterday's uh, judgment by NCLAT, uh, they have mentioned that uh, an interim monitoring committee has to be nominated. That consists of a representative from NBCC and uh, three major lenders along with IRP uh, who will uh, run that day-to-day -day business till the company is taken over by NBCC and uh, till the final result judgment of NCLAT is out. And next date that they have given, uh, next date of hearing they have given as 15th of May, which is uh, not very long. All right, 15th of May is uh, the date we will keep an eye out on. Up until then, uh, you know, everything is in a bit of a limbo. Uh, let's talk about uh, the status of your Amrapali projects. We understand that, you know, this could be worth close to around 8,800-odd crores, of which you expected, expe uh, 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 you know, uh, execution worth around three to 400 crores in this year itself. What's the status on that? Uh, uh, we, in fact, uh, there are total 24 projects in mm -hmm. total. So two projects uh, have already been handed over, completed and handed over uh, in the, uh, last December. Hmm. And eight tenders we had finalized and work also had been started. But uh, due to lockdown, the work is uh, at standstill. As soon as lockdown is open, uh, the work will restart. Eight projects. Uh, the, these eight, eight projects consist of 12,000 houses approximately. And then uh, during uh, we have used this lockdown period to uh, prepare the tender documents and float the tenders. So for 11 tenders, we have permit, uh, received the permission from the Supreme Court. 10 tenders we have already floated, which will be opened progressively in May and June. One tender will come out in another three, four days. That will, uh, will also be opened in June. These tenders will be finalized in the month of June and July. And hopefully by then, the situation will also be clear and uh, the work will start. You know, it is important that you uh, uh, you allude to the the problems that we're facing on account of coronavirus and the lockdown. Delhi is a hot spot. Uh, a large part of your business comes from the NCR as well. When do you realistically expect work to begin out there? And, you know, even if uh, the lockdown eases, are you hopeful of the migrant labor coming back? What proportion of your business is on account of contract labor? No, a uh, lot of business depends on contract labor, but uh, a large amount of labor is already available at site. They have not gone back home. So, uh, but uh, due to lockdown, uh, we have not been able to start the work. If the lockdown eases, then uh, we'll be able to start the work, and hopefully the migrant labor will also come. Uh, so once the lockdown eases, how long before you can start the work? And once you start the work, you will gradually improve your utilization, right? So initially, you would be, what, 30-40% uh, utilization? Uh, yes, about 50% uh, uh, of the projects uh, should be able to start. M uh, with 50% speed, they should be able to start and uh, gradually build up as the uh, migrant labor comes in. But we can start immediately after the lockdown is over because uh, 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 sufficient labor is available at site. And realistically, what sort of revenue are you looking at in this year and the next year? Uh, from NCR or, or from, total? For the total business. Total business, uh, uh, it has become a little uncertain due to this coronavirus. But uh, we are expecting around 8,000 crore rupees turnover during this year if the uh, situation eases quickly.